Hey guys, Chris from Provo Beast Audio Installation, and today we have a special car here in the Provo Beast Garage. We're working on this 1966 Cadillac DeVille. Um, over the course probably of a couple of videos, we're gonna be doing some audio upgrades in this thing. Um, it had a system put in a couple of years ago, but it's time for a refresh. We're gonna get all the wiring out of it uh, from the previous install and start fresh. Let's get started. All right, so as we get started here, we're gonna kind of show you exactly what's in it. Currently here, we've already pulled off the dash pad as well as just laid down the back seat just for access here. But up here, we do have um, 10 year old um, Soundstreet type radio that we're gonna pull out and upgrade with the Sony there. Um, we have some old JVC speakers down in the kicks, um, just your basic replacements. We're gonna be putting in some P1 punch uh, Rockford Fodsgate, um, he kind of wants to do a Rockford slash kicker type system here. So we're gonna do some components with some mid ranges down in the kicks, as well as tweeters up here in the dash through these factory grills um, with a brand new Sony up front. So it's gonna be kind of nice there to have that there. Um, here in the back, we're gonna keep these Rockford Fosgate um, four by six type speakers here in the, it's kind of like a center channel, but there's a left and a right. Uh, we'll just get those rewired there, but those will stay put. And so those are our four channels here in the um, passenger side of the, of the Cadillac here. Everything's gonna be rewired and make nice and clean. So here in the trunk, uh, we got these huge L7s. Um, he likes a lot of bass, a lot of power. Um, and this is the insole that was here before. Let me go ahead and pull this on out. So with these off to the side, we have kind of a homemade amp rack here. And we have a four channel up underneath that, just wiring all over the place. What we're gonna do is just get this all cleaned up. We're gonna get and start from scratch. We have some nice wiring here. Um, looks like he used the uh, sub amp as a distribution block. Um, so what we're gonna do instead, is I've already started mocking up a panel here. I've cut this here, it fits nice and flat in that spot with some carpet on it. We're gonna do a basic amp rack and we're gonna mount both amps there, get them out from this spot here. All the wiring will be neatly tucked back behind this panel and then run up there. The nice thing is down the road, he is planning on doing airbags. So if we have pumps uh, or compressors and tanks here in the trunk, there's gonna be a little bit more space for that. So we're gonna keep these amps out of the way. So we plan on putting two amplifiers there we got that all carpeted and ready to go off camera and so first thing that we need to do is start getting all this out so we can have a clean slate um, but before we do we'll show you up underneath the hood and our plans there so underneath the hood here we have our battery um, we're going to keep the battery here we're going to upgrade our terminals here um, here's our alternator and the charging wire is this little guy it's like a about a 12 gauge, maybe a 10 gauge wire. Um, and so we're gonna actually put one off, off this just so we can supply our um, amplifiers, enough current um, just from our alternator to the battery here. Now we're gonna put in an SMD distribution block around the location where he has this original fuse here um, and uh, do a big three upgrade on this as well to keep it nice and clean up underneath the hood. Um, and again, like I said, new battery terminals just to get those all polished up as well. So um, really at this point, it's just deconstruction time. We're gonna go ahead and pull everything out and start from a clean slate. Just for our install, we're gonna go with some new concepts, one out wiring here. This is OFC wire. Uh, we've got about 30 feet of primary and for ground, um, matching about 10 feet. Then for our four channel amp, OFC new concepts um, wiring as well. Uh, we've got about 30 feet of that. And then we have some grounding that matches this as well. So we're gonna do that. This is our SMD distribution block. Um, we're gonna run our uh, to our battery and to the uh, alternator here. It's gonna this is where our big three is gonna come together, and then we can individually fuse these out to our various amplifiers, which we have two fuses here. Got our terminals here. Got a new Rockford speakers here. Ton of copper terminals as well as heat shrink. So um, really, this is what we need to kind of get started. We're gonna utilize his amplifiers he already has and uh, upgrade some speakers. One thing that you don't see here at the bench is uh, we don't have the, the radio quite yet. Still waiting on that to ship in just with COVID and supply and demand. Um, supply is really short right now. And so we're doing what we can with what we got. One thing I did notice here, he said that there was a ton of buzzing 
And it looks like uh, there's our grounds. We got our both our grounds kind of right there instead of to the frame. And so it's um, probably the, the root cause besides poor quality RCA cables of any interference and uh, ground loop noise that you may hear through the speaker. So I plan on doing a really nice ground to the frame um, and uh, really cleaning up um, the wiring here. So let's uh, get the tripod set up here and start pulling out wire. So I think we're just about gutted here. Um, pulled all this off. Again, we're, we are replacing terminals, so we don't need to put any of that stuff back on. Cheese is out, power wire is out. Coming inside here. Pull the radio. We need to do some uh, soldering here of whatever wire that's in here, just so we can clean that up for our new aftermarket radio. Um, pulled out the kick pods and the wiring that went to those uh, kick pods to those five and a quarters or six and a halves um, We'll do some vacuuming back here, but Pulled out the majority of the wiring here. Still got I guess one more guy left that will pull um, But uh, other than that give it a nice good vacuum here back here in the trunk All that wiring is out Good to go again. We're gonna do it just a nice cleanup good vacuum here then after a good vacuum, we're basically ready to start running new wire.
about it for this video. We went ahead and got the trunk all cleaned up, the cab all cleaned up, everything's nice and vacuumed, and we went ahead and put our amp board in there just to do another fit. Fits perfect, it's gonna mount great. It'll bolt to the body, and it's a great location to mount our amplifiers. That's about it and all the time that we have for this video here today. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and the bell icon just so you're notified for the next video in this series. Next time around, we're going to go ahead and show you the wiring here. We're going to run all new one aught cable and 4 gauge OFC wire for our amplifiers. Uh, we're going to get the fuse holder all done up underneath the hood, Epic 3 upgrade, and really start from there. So be sure to uh, follow this build. We're excited to have this cool car here in the Provo Beast Garage. Again, hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe, and we will see you in the next video.